Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, but today we gotta start talking about another Zax, another story. With some time, our own nursery robots and tribal scouts, fighting through the streets of Denver, I've uncovered another relic of antiquity. It is the box. A particular pre war robot production facility of mysterious origin. Back when I used to have a body, I remember going out to Denver and speaking to engineers working at this facility. They always spoke in hushed tones. Corporate non disclosure agreements, probably more than enough to keep them quiet. I wonder if that little coffee shop by Colfax is still open. It's been so long since I've been to Denver. It seems that the centerpiece of this old facility has begun to malfunction. The Zach is only following a protocol known as Colossus, instead taking on another protocol in the hope to suppress the riots out in Denver. It feels like such a waste to have those old pre-war engineers work wasted. Maybe I could push the Zach along to try to get it to follow its old programming. It seems to have done good work here. Why stop it? The Box's AI helps us consolidate the territories of outer Denver. Versus, it won't let those. I won't let those engineers work be wasted. Uh oh, we could get Warden. We could. I don't really want Warden. I don't. Uh, I like the p computational power, but we would lose so much over here. And we need the industry too. So I think for this one, I'm gonna go with this. One. I'm pretty sure I went with this one too, but my bad. Also, there's a comic. Some guy was always asking, "Why don't I play Neo Communist She?" Because there is no Neo Communist She right now. At least in Vanilla, uh, Vanilla Hoy Four, you got the people, you got the intellectuals, you got the elites, and you got the ruler. I don't know if any of the sub mods for like the She are updated yet. So. Um, they might be, they might not be, I don't know, I haven't really looked into submods as well. We're also fighting Earl Burles now too, so. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm not entirely sure uh, about that, but we're doing soup from a bygone era. I've got some other comments to go through as well. Lannis is a master of wasteland warfare, but many, like many militaries, he and his court are tied down by the resources available to them. As his ally, the least we can do is help out his war effort by opening up supply lines between his lands and mine, and provide what I can spare. At the very least, this should help simplify his logistics and weapons procurement. And maybe fruit of knowledge. I will give Arizona the luxury of the nursery's knowledge. With my words, may the fields of Arizona grow green once again. And I know one of the comments was that I just keep bouncing around in this here focus tree, not like doing one thing at a time. Um, I don't know. Okay, yeah. Um, so, it is what it is. I mean, I would like to do, and we'll get here down eventually, all this DNA stuff. I forget exactly where it, it all is. I think it's down here, yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there. We will get there, but... I want to win the war first, as best as we possibly can. And hopefully this is a, this is a little bit faster than uh, the past couple times we tried this. So, cool, cool, cool. If you guys are having a pretty good day, where are you guys at? Y'all doing okay here-ish? Uh, I don't know how much I trust my divisions actually to be able to push into enemies. These guys... Oh yeah, we're fighting here too. I forgot about that. I went to war with a lot of people off-screen, waiting just for the right time to attack and such. So, Yeah, I'll try to use more robots, because we did go to the robot doctrine down this campaign. So that'll be good. Um, anything down here? Not really, not really... And, yeah, we're still trying to... F I think we finished up the land doctrine as well. But from here on out, we're going to be using... Well, we need more bikes. We need more, maybe a little more coming kind of weaponry, but a lot more robots. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of robots. Cool. We did that, so we can circle these guys and kill them off here. That would be very nice to do. Very, very nice. And there they go. Good job, guys. Um, let them spread around. Let them attack us here. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, totally fine. Do space surveys well and do really okay. There you go. Head in there if you can. Main efficiency. Good, good, good. Grab some of that as well. And what do we have over here? Oh, another robot. Good. Uh, what do we have to do? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. With this whole the different meta for No Step Back, I've always just been kind of like, what is it? What, what meta are we going to be using for like the various mods that, have, that are actually updated? Um, there's one division there. Now I'll do it by ourselves. I don't want you to interfere with us. So you guys are here. Could you actually just win and like do it like that, maybe? I doubt you guys could, but... Uh, I don't really trust you guys doing it down here too much. But hey, you never know. 40... Yeah, well, I mean, you're not going to win if you only have one division doing that. It's kind of like, what do you expect? I'm doing this to get the rest publica, who is lying. Yes, of course, down here. I'm doing that. Also, I did remember now... Um, apparently they're just fine get some Huawei territories. As we saw in the last episode, or maybe the last one before that one. Lennis can't do very much by himself, so I hope, I hope he can do well. I, for the love of God, hope he can do well. We're going to need him to do really well, or we'll die. So we got to finish this world quickly. Um, what's up next? Uh, the Iron Rivers Tribe, because we're now going to beeline through all the stuff as much as we possibly can. 
or Burl Cinderus, as well as the old bones. Even the most narrow of rivers can possess, uh, oppose a formidable obstacle to safe travel, and in the absence of reliable infrastructure such as bridges, we can only transverse these treacherous bodies with flimsy small boats. The Iron River's drive was the right idea of creating a select few large steam-powered vessels for transport. Given the lack of alternatives, the idea is worth pursuing. Where a tribe tends to prefer smaller river boats to travel up and down the rivers, the Iron River's tribe is known for larger steamboat vessels. Many voyages or across the river will be much easier using these safer vessels. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys hold. You're losing too many men for us. We want to do that. Advanced recycling is good. Drop some of the two, because you can. And where are you guys at? You're all around here, huh? And you're doing okay ish. Not bad, not great. So, scrapper's compact. Cool. Basic boundaries, good. Drop some of the two, because you can. Then shop over there. Come back up here. Overall, not bad. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse, actually. Oh, they did catch us there. Not ideal. Oh, and the division go bye bye too. Now, we don't want to get a cutoff here, do we? Of course not. So, you guys are going to come up here and do this. And just try to murder them all. It's a simple, little happy, simple murder. That's all. Cool. And keep building up military factories. Well, that's just quite literally what we need. Organic processors are nice. Some rubber brains because you can. Go to Burrows would be good too. Yeah, if you possibly can. And they went to war. Yeah, I'm not going to go to war with those guys yet. Um, yeah, no. Good. And Bombay Jacks lost in. Well, we might have driven out the other claim jumpers from the Great Circle area. One particularly bad source made them a nuisance to us. Bombay Jack, rather nasty rares, barricaded himself up in this canyon and refused to leave. We'll have to remove him if the tribe can safely inhabit this area. Oh, good God. Oh, please don't attack. Why is AI so bad, man? Why is AI so bad? Oh, they're attacking here, too. Oh, you know what? I'm okay with that. Let them attack. Let them wear themselves out. How much more do we need for this? They're about 5,000. Oh, we need everything. Oh, my goodness. This is so bad. Um, Y'all just robots, so... Robotics expert. Go rooted. Because it gives you more transparency. This is so nice. Yeah, no, no, we're not going to go into that war. The problem with robots, no matter what, is that they get pierced immediately. Basically, by this point in the game, like they're absolutely going to 100% get pierced. Uh, so, we'll see what happens in the future, but still. All right, so why don't you guys continue going in if you can. Yeah, if you guys can. Good, good. Do not let them over. Oh, that's good too. That's good. At least you see that. You can win here. You can. Answer. Oh, good, 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 good. Head straight down there. Head into here if you can. Break over that river. Let them flood up there. You know, gives them a little distraction point. And flood through if you can. Just do not get encircled here. Um, more infantry. I know it's not really worth having a lot of infantry here, but still. All right, well, if they want to do that, we can do that too. Our foreign mercenaries, or heroes, I guess. Not mercenaries, huh. I can put you right there too. I have to dig up just a wee bit of entrenchment. Keep going, we can get like right here. Actually go right there, get them all out that way. Focus fires, not bad. Got some rocket launchers too, because we like rocket launchers. You guys looking okay here ish 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 Hanksville. How much more do we need? They're about halfway dead, which is good. I'm looking at that other army back. We're currently fighting the other group. Eh, that'd be good too. Hey, look at that. Now oh, that's nice. Excuse me, game, thank you. Pre war housing. Uh, have you seen Raiders? Yes. Keep going on in. Nice. Alright. Bombay Jack's last stand. Oh, good. We got that one done. 
Nice. Or get the ability to do it done. Monoplane plane attackers are good as well. And we'll go there. Uh, there. Cut these everyone else off from the south. This will be fine. These guys are going to be struggling a lot. This will be fine. I don't understand why they're taking so long. I hate, hate, hate this sometimes, man. Get down here too. Come on. Move. Move, 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 move. There should be like... There's literally no resistance. I don't understand why they're taking so long to move. And the rest of you guys, just, just keep moving on. That's good. Oh, look, you guys actually broke, broke over, huh? Keep these guys in place. And circle and kill. My god, you guys are taking so long. Jesus Christ, it's so bad. You know what, we got the manpower, we got this stuff for I, I I literally don't know a good division template. So, uh, let's go 24. And you guys are 26, 26. Uh... But less HP. See, that's give you more defense. I do like that. Demo. Let's go with that. We don't have enough fire teams, but I don't care. I'm going to make you guys chunky. I'm going to try 30 combo with. Scrap shacks. Gatling lasers. Can you, like, actually do something useful? Go down there. Keep him in place. That's all you got to literally do right now. Can I tribute? Nope. Not even going to bother reading that one. You guys are going to say no. My god. I hate Roboros. Come on. How much more manpower do they have? How? They're on the nuclear one. No wonder. Of course, using infantry to attack is really bad too, but still. Captures a... Oh, well, that's not good. Come on. Hurry up and win the goddamn battle. How much more do we need? This is stupid. Finally. At least that war is over. That's good. Drag everyone else over here. And we'll shift the production to a lot of robots. Just tons of robots. Nothing. Why do these keep popping up? Oh, I almost clicked on that stuff so that the game would crash. Oh boy. Good, 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 good. I uh, can't get them quite yet. Well, they're actually doing okay for now, but then again, Lanius. Ooh. Ooh, Lanius. Oh, Lanius. Bombay Jack, huh? Alright. Well, giants of the past. Dinosaurs, as Diana called them, were beasts of great magnitude that roamed the Earth till, like the old world, they were destroyed by a cataclysmic event. Surprisingly, some of the remains have been found on Earth by centuries of weather patterns and excavated by nursery robots. With the power of the nursery's facilities, we can bring back the power of those primordial beasts. Followed up with Rad Scorpion DNA. The Rad Scorpion's natural resistance to the direct light of the sun, as well as the heat or dryness of the air, makes its sequence perfectly suited for lower level splicing into all of our systems. Doing so will make more hardy, make them more hardy in desert-like climates, and have them enjoy increased comfort in most circumstances. We store the sample DNA so that the specified creature may never go extinct again, then begin the process of splicing beneficial aspects of that DNA to select humans living underneath us in order to increase their likelihood of surviving the waste. A couple other comments include like get better divisions, get more research slots, and uh. Someone recommended that we should do this one. Good soul, his family. While the Lock sacrifice is deeply honorable and an example to us all in this hopeless way, and his children seem to all want to gain control of Mexico for themselves. As horrible of a choice as it is, if we were to ensure people are treated decently, we must choose who to throw. <coughs> Excuse me. Our weight behind. And now it's time to kill off another Colorado state, because I've already gone ahead and done my dominion. I've saved many of my children, freed many more innocents, but my work is not done yet done. 
I can still hear the cries and pleas of those still under the thumb of oppression and death. It's time, or it's enough for me to redouble my efforts. I've heard of these sounds for centuries, and it's time for me to put it up to a stop. Heck, has no fear like a mother fighting for a child. My lurk DNA. My lurks have a much better natural understanding of the ways in an aquatic environment than we could have ever hoped to. It's acquired DNA. <clears throat> Can still, however, be spliced and integrated in the population for better aquatic mobility as well as ability to see underwater even without goggles. We store the sample DNA so that the specified creature may never go extinct again. Then begin the process of splicing beneficial aspects of that DNA to select human livings uh, living underneath us in order to increase their likelihood of surviving the waste. Now we're gonna need some uh, Wanamingo DNA. I could see he becomes a leader, huh? We did dream about Denver as well. Like that's how we started here. There is one. Oh, before the war, my work would sometimes take me to Denver, a variable hub that teamed with some of the country's brightest minds and impressive robotics development efforts. Travel scout notes indicate that some of the manufacturing buildings may still be operational. I wonder if there's anything else I could put to use. Jurassic Strength. Wanamingo. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, we did do either one of these two? Well, we can't do that one, obviously. Because we're probably going to go into war with them. We have to own them, or an ally has to. Oh. Well, that's how I get it. Oh, so we can't do that one, huh? For this one, we need Memories of the Student. Oh. And we can't get the extra research shot, so there's... Yeah, we can't... Uh, well... Alright. Um, I guess we'll do this one instead. Advanced Cloning Research. The sample of Jurassic biological material we've acquired has been absolutely fascinating to analyze. With the current technology, we could be able to even integrate dinosaur genetic strands into our soldiers, vastly improving their resilience in combat and potentially proving them to be the pinnacle of our aspirations and inspirations. Aspirations and inspirations, my friends. Yeah, we couldn't even get that other research slot, so there's no point even about, I guess, talking about it. But yeah, at this point, as you guys recommended, we're just going to focus more and more and more on actually making good divisions here. Also, I did, I did focus a little more on Goddess's Reach. These guys are now 27 combo with, with more heavy robot divisions, or battalions, I should say, and then anything else, so, yeah. We got some monstrous plans for fun. We got some logistics just in case. We got one, two, three, three light robots, or support robots, and then seven heavy robots. Yes, I can add. I can totally add. So this should make it a little better sell. And also, my apologies for the past couple of episodes. I just have not been doing really well with recording, if you follow this channel at all. Just because, like, I am... By the time I get to recording at night, and sometimes it's literally 10 o'clock at night every night, I don't have a lot of energy, and I try to you know, do the best I can, but... Having a full-time job, and then some, is... It's a lot. So I do apologize if I seem grumpy or just frustrated and stuff like that. Because I know I ha definitely have been in the past couple episodes. Um, I do apologize for that. Which means, as you might be able to tell, I'm recording this on a weekend. So. So we're going to have slightly more energy. I also have a busy weekend. Like most weekends. <sighs> yeah, I gotta keep, we're going to need some more energy cells. Oh, we're definitely going to need that. But thank you, Hexilu. Thank you very much. My luck DNA, thank you very much. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And I'm not getting involved in landing this stuff yet, just because I don't care yet. I just don't. And then Renewable Energy Doctrine. Our already existing study into to efficient energy cell recycling could be applied to existing infrastructure inside the factory, improving its auxiliary generators into hyper-efficient state approaching the level of a breeder reactor. With them now needing little of any fuel, we can now push them to the limit without danger and increase their yield tenfold. Uh, eh, we're kind of okay. We'll, we'll build them eventually anyways. It won't be that bad. Whatever you hear. Rob goes to Sure, I don't care. Build them too. We need way more heavies. Rider gear? Sure, why not? That's why we're only building robots too, so. We're done. Cool. Yeah, let's see what happens. They don't begin immediately attacking us, but they do have power armor, which is going to be kind of a concern of ours. Well, oh, they're doing force defense too, huh? Well, we are doing relatively okay-ish, for now. For now. Why can we keep doing this one immediately? 30 days, huh? Really fast. Current satellite size is 50. It's not bad. Economy. Um, I don't think I really care about that. Not really. It's kind of just found something. Oh, we get Rob. Oh, we get Robco. We do have Lockreed. Ooh, Boulder Dome's not bad. Ooh, support robot and combat robots more reliability. As much as I like this one. I want, I, want that, I want Robco. I think Robco would be really fitting for us. We can get involved down here too. We might. They're doing actually not terrible. Honestly, if we don't have to get involved, I'm not going to have to get involved. So maybe instead we'll fight the 80s. But first, the ciphers. Are we just find anybody else? No. What? It took so long to kill them off. 
All right, not bad, not bad. And then renewable energy. And then we'll start coring more stuff, too. That's a goal. Losses. Mm, 3,000 losses for them. Not that bad. Um, let's see. Can I take you guys? You guys sit down here. See what y'all can do about that. Might be a bit too much for them there, but we'll see what happens. Scavenger vehicles, yes, please. We're still building up more energy. Maybe a few more military factories, because my goodness, do we need them? Oh, goodness, yes, yes, we do. Oh, we're on everyone for the war machine. Which is not bad either. And keep making some civvies, because we can still use them. Let's see. There we go. Alright, so let's get some. These guys, too. Good. Anything here? And what do we need for this one? We need. Oh, scout kits. Okay, that's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Great news. Just don't start losing the warp, Lanius, please. I do not want to come rescue you. Uh, 92,000. Someone did ask if... Wow, the she took a lot of territory. They're going to end up dying probably because of all that, but that's okay. Um, if I could play with someone else, like multiplayer, and have someone play Lanius, and I play as Diane, or, some, or reverse that, which sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, maybe eventually. Land Doctrine. Um... I guess we have that one too, that's fine. Crowd control, it's fine. We need a lot of energy. Actually, what are we at for here? We need to distrust the outsiders. We need to be at war. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of a concern over there. But if we core more stuff, we'll be fine. Oh, this one too. Harnessing heat. Geothermal sources can be found throughout the blasted heck hole that is the wasteland. Even within our own territory, many areas have been designated as hazard zones because of the scorching heat. Installing geothermal generators over those areas could power the factory further and bring back some of its many additional functions. Followed up with refactoring radiation compression device. Our knowledge of genetic engineering allows us to, with some effort, reactivate the RRCD subroutine of the creation kit. A powerful genetic scanner, it automatically tracks corrupted DNA strands in fauna and flora. Then purchase that corruption restores their original sequences. Its algorithm is extremely powerful and could be put to good use. Absolutely. Just, just defend. I mean, that, that, that's, that's, it's easy just to just defend. Ooh. Why are the sleepers in our faction? It's a very good question. Who is this? It's a great confederation. Well, I don't know how great it is, but I guess we'll see you in a little bit. See that's manpower? And they immediately begin attacking us. Mm, they can pierce us, but our guys that finally do quite a bit of damage, so... Not too worried about that. Mm. Scavenger's Triumph. Many of if they want to keep attacking, I'm not opposed to that. Can y'all do well here? Maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. Do we have any planes, perhaps? No. Well, that's always helpful. Energy. Roads. Military factories. Share the love, share the wealth. Watch out for spees. Please don't get in circle if, you, if at all possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You might want to go there too, guys. You never know if you can help out and assist. I'm seeing the heat. Yeah, this is moving so much faster. It must have been my computer. My apologies about like earlier about me complaining about this stuff. It's just like sometimes you just wonder if it's all the blues, if it's paradox, if it's a computer, because you never know. But members of the student. I remember now, before the fighting, before the bloodshed, they were my students, and I taught them the ways in which we could heal the wasteland and its people. See, the work made me realize that they truly internalized my lessons. They were an exceptional learner, and I've always been proud of them. Good job, guys. Um, let's go and search to find on the 80s. Actually, do the... Oh, uh, well, maybe not. That does open up a whole another front. Hmm. That's a big old front, too. Northern League. Don't really want to care to push into that area, but... Eh, we'll see. Oh, 15 days is not bad. Why, why, is it, why is it 15 days, though? 10 is good enough for that. We only need, like, 4 there, so... That goes five. You guys just have the infantry hold there, and there's enough there. Should be able to push in. I want to save you guys. You guys are gonna be the big push here. Big push. Big push. Oh god, there's like no roads here. We got that instead first. It's fine. Basic drill is good, and more logistics because it's gonna be so bad there. More space surveys because we got plenty of political power for that. 
Radiation and memories of the series. Some of them very good. We need way more heavy robots, though. Way, 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 way. Just more robots in general. Infrastructural prioritization. Very nice. Oh, that's probably not good for them. When do we get implants? I want implants, man. Not for me personally, but like for our, our soldiers. If we were to go to war with these guys, why are this? Why is this so not divided well? Well, let's save and see what happens. The 80s can be a huge pain in the butt to kill, so. We will see. I'm going to play some Mormons again. Um, huh? You guys combined could probably do pretty darn well. They did try to attack us there. What if we have an overall push? Can we do well here? No and no. Okay, so I kind of figured that. Especially because these guys are just infantry. So you guys hold. You guys hold as well. They're not super good. Let the robots do a lot of the work. Let them do a lot of the talking. Which makes more sense for us to do anyway, so. Um, anything in here? Yeah, sure, why not. More repo trade? That's pretty good. Sure, sure, guys. Sure. Why not? Just please do not get encircled, for the love of God. Um, D13? How about right here? All these canyons and such make sense to have, but they're a pain in the butt to fight through. 42,000, not bad. 68, not bad either. Event generators, grab this next one too. Oh my goodness, we're going to need a lot of energy cells, aren't we? We're going to need a lot of energy. Yeah, two divisions go bye-bye is really good. Oh boy, this is not good. Not good at all. Hmm. Well, yep. Well, they're just kind of flooding through here, so that's kind of a mistake. So we'll do that. We'll do members of the student, and what else are we going to do? Oh, that's not bad to do. Can I kind of try road building? Sure, why not? Now that we've settled vast areas of our territory, we must make sure to build roads back to Vault 29 before the, and the tribe's capital. Ever to truly come together as a nation, infrastructure is capital of the economy and culture of our country, such as robots and automated workers, will make sure to rapidly connect villages. Memory of the student. Memories flow back to me of someone I'd forgotten. They were the student of Ekate. I was the one that gave them that name and put them on the path they are on now at one point. Before they were Ekati, they were just a scared sick raider. I brought them back to health, told them of a potential future they could attain for themselves, taught them of the potential biological genetics and the path to healing the wasteland. They soon would take my ideas to heart. I always like, did like Ekate, in which we're going to next do Tabula Rasa. With the full potential of the Gek now unlocked through hard effort, it would be selfish if not outright criminal to keep this potential all to ourselves. Lanius, trusted ally of the twin mothers and Diana, shall be given this gift, just as we do. He shall help heal the land of the atrocities of the wasteland. All he needs to do is accept this gift. May he mend the land through his travels as well as... Looks like these guys are doing fine over here for now. Uh, the Dark Horn. We may have liberated the peoples of Ouroboros, but we still have the problem of what we do with Ekati. Who we took as a prisoner of war. Diana suggests that we hand Ekati over to her. As she wanted to spend some time to catch up with her former pupil. Command doesn't really have a better idea of how to deal with her, so we might as well give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I could tell he's been cruel to us like this before, but she just needs to be taught a lesson. We'll use a code algorithm on her make her forget she was ever anything but friendly with us. It's not the first time, after all. Memory of family. Many have come and gone, and through each one I've learned a little more about myself. But with my memories flooding back, I am beginning to remember a feeling I had almost like a memory of someone I haven't met. All I can remember is their name, and yet I feel as if this person or per someone is close to me. Memories of family. Ah, memories flood back to me of someone I'd forgotten. They were scattered. Not a person, not a place, just a feeling, a name, haunting the back of my mind like a specter. The name was Odysseus. I have a brother. But salvaging weapon legions. The legions left behind a stockpile of weapons we can use. Okay, okay then. Um, I like to do this one, but we cannot do this. Oh, actually, the twin mother's final lesson. Oh, the twin... Oh. Hmm. Okay, well. We can't do either one of these two because we have to be at peace, and... They are allies to be a piece as well. Ah, oh, that makes sense then. Nothing else down here yet, too. Ah, oh, we talk about Odysseus as well. My friend's resting place owns the locked lair. Beside an age relics. Well then, I guess we're going to continue on this side of the focus to them. Organic programming? That wouldn't be bad. Console's family. Of course, I think I just read this one as well. Yeah. If you want to read that again, please go ahead. If you want to read about protect his legacy as well, please go ahead too. Organic programming, it's okay. It doesn't do much for us, but as Diana's computational powers attain impressive levels, she's been able to crack the infamous and fabled code for her own use. While <clears throat> deeply unethical, the human reprogramming protocol could transform savage and inhumane raiders into perfectly happy and productive members of society. Followed up with the Reboot the Protection Network versus Offer Tribute. 
Hmm. At this point, we're pretty we're pretty much attacking pretty well, but at the same point, we do want to attack as well. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's go reboot the protection network. We can fairly easily send robotic engineers to reboot the entire protection network and calibrate its IFF targeting systems to counter the armed personnel only, making sure travel will not be harmed should they ever want to close. The horrible screaming sound of gunfire in the distance might keep their numbers or members up at night, but it's worth it to ensure their security. If the boot fits, as we speak, a deadly conflict is brewing in the depths of the Mexican territory. We must do our choice soon, unless the tyrant rise of power and sullies his legacy. We need to pick which one of his children will support. Santa Ana might be the oldest, but his temp temperate always has something to be desired. Maximilian is a kind soul, yet might not have the strength needed to rule Mexico. Montezuma and Zapata each have an innate strength to them. Perhaps they might become stronger in hand to guide Mexico. Such a hard choice to make, though. There's Zapata, and there's Moctezuma. Um, that's a lot. These no energy cells. Kind of like us. We're actually running out right now, which is not good. Uh, I'm thinking Zapata's going to be pretty strong. He can protect Mexico. He gets more attack. Off phone talking with Moctezuma. He is, he is fighting two groups at the same time, though. Um, this looks like it. Yeah, always fighting quite a few groups. You're only fighting that group. Um, I think I prefer, honestly, I prefer Montezuma, but we'll go with Zapata for now. He's, he's definitely going to win, so. And he's going to win, anyways. Well, let's keep him winning. But Moonlight Schools. The fourth level is about. Well, yeah, let's talk about these in order. The foundation of the hierarchy pertains to physical needs, and sadly, the state of healthcare in our land is pitiful. Our factory shall begin immediate production of vast numbers of medical robots programmed to assist town physicians but not replace them and provide sanitary, advanced medical care to all the people under our rule. One or more of the decisions will unlock will not appear on the decisions tab, but appear on the map when the decisions tab is open. Local syndicate councils. The second level of the hierarchy deals with safety and pro security. By establishing local governors made by and for the people, we are able to deal much more closely with the needs of our people, providing reassurance that we are here for them. And shall always keep them as secure against the hordes of the wasteland, guns for caps. The third level of concern is a sense of belonging, the trust and community, and the warmth of friendship. With the force of having purged our land of most threats, we can now enact a vast information campaign. Our towns and villages shall be shown it is safe to once again live together without the fear of the unknown. May they all put down their weapons and never have to touch them again in moonlight schools now. Fourth level. It's about accomplishment, pride, and oneself. To all that wanted, they, we shall teach them the ways of life. People that never knew any better will have the opportunity to become engineers, physicians, scientists, and none shall be barred from achieving their dreams by their conditions anymore. Well, everybody, come fly with me, but first we're going to start talking about... Harder, better, faster, stronger. Now that we made sure the Twin Brothers tribe is healthy and strong, we could use the robotic knowledge to go beyond the human form. Volunteers will be given capabilities beyond even their wildest dreams while we experiment the next step in human evolution, cybernetics, and come fly with me. With the acquisition such as a wide satellite network and the wealth of information each contains, we're able to study pre-warm aerial as well as spatial capabilities. And while we will never be quite able to launch our own objects in orbit yet, we could put it to use on more advanced aeronautical uh, military asset designs. Sounds pretty good to me. And past that, we can't do too much else. As peace has used society building decisions at least 50 times. Yeah, I don't know about that. And we have these ones, so we can do this one. Infrastructure, automated hospitals, moonlight schools, guns for caps, and then syndicate councils is nice, but we don't have enough political power. Also, Texas declared war on the Republicans, so they're going to die. Yeah, and we're doing quite well against these guys. They only have 55 divisions left. We've got about 42,000 of them, which ain't bad, but we, we still got room to grow. We still got a lot of room to grow and just... Get rid of these guys. And we've been, I've been converting some of these divisions, like actual just robot divisions, to other robot divisions. So, yeah. We've been doing definitely okay. I'm not going to give any of the sorrows. I mean, we could get involved, but I, I really don't want to fight Texas. Texas is way too big. They're way too strong um, for us to meet, for me to really care about fighting them. So, research that one. We're doing that because space survey would be very nice. Yeah, they're going to definitely be dying here. And that kind of sucks for them, but oh well. Come on, guys. Hurry up. You guys were doing so well before. Um, is there anything else here? I got some Fisk Air Tech, which is really nice. No, it doesn't look like it. We're pretty much stuck with what we got right now. Which does kind of suck. not going to lie. Okay, come on. The robots just don't cut it, man. I mean, they're doing relatively okay-ish. But they're just not good enough. They're literally, literally just not good enough. Guys, go in. Go in. We've actually been doing so well. We've actually had... Yeah, for a while, we had a pretty good amount of combat robots. But as you can tell, we don't have surplus anymore, which does kind of suck. Go in and kill more. Kill more. Oh my god, I hate these frontline systems sometimes. Oh, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Kill them off. Like, Jesus Christ, kill them off. That's why I just don't like using robots. Oh my goodness, this is looking really bad. The AI definitely does not help us here. Why did you do it like this?
Just please do not get encircled here. Um, yeah, losses are not bad. I mean, converting a lot of robots. Yeah, the eighties. I don't know. All this, the core territory that they get. It can be. It's a giant pain in the butt to kill these guys off. Giant pain in the butt. Why is it so bad here? Why is it so bad? God, come on. No, screw this area. Pull out. I need you guys up here. Because these guys suck so much. Where are those guys? Um, go up there. Seriously. Yeah, robots suck. They're just not worth using. Uh, what do I have up here? Yes. Rocket launchers. Uh, take you guys because we want to do... Oh, I thought there was some sort of technology we can get down here, huh? Maybe not. I thought we took care of these guys. What's taking so long up here? Oh my god, come on. I mean, it looks green. Windover is nice to have. Introductions and greetings. Hello, boss's sister. Uh, it's been a while, messenger explanation. It's just my old boss, Molten Death. I've only been a quest of self-discovery, traveling the world of my own little adventures. Uh, have you seen ever been in Cuba? It's lovely this time of year. Puzzle query. Did he ever tell you about me? I work for your brother, Odysseus. Dismissive request for service. Regard, I also picked up a familiar signal that reminded me of him, so I figured I'd travel down and meet you here. Would you like to go to the visit boss's grave with me? I would like that, yes. Okay, then. Oh my god, we got him. Oh, I, I hate, I hate this so much. I hate this, hate, 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 hate this so much. Why are the 80s so ridiculously strong? Come on. Or why are we so weak? I mean, really, realistically, it's, we're weak. We're really flipping weak. Old old blues, that sucks. This is not good. And we, you think you took out 53,000 of them. They would be kind of weak. But... Family lost. Some of our scouts found a nearby pre-war facility that Argos claims Greenway connections to before it departed. But seeing as the place in question is nothing more than a blackened crater, facility may be too generous of a term. However, there's always more than meets the naked eye. Um, what's up next? Anything here? Uh, let's go heart attack this time. Oh, cyber doggos. Yeah, there you go. How much more do we need? I mean, this is ridiculous. How much do we need from the god dang 80s? It's too much. It's just too much. Now we do double back here too. Oh crap, that's not good. I'm not fighting either one of them, hopefully, so. That'll be important. Oh, can you actually destroy enemy divisions, pieces of garbage? Come on, man. So the capital's down here. All these divisions should easily die without supply eventually, right? Or am I going crazy? I know we're still using some infantry. You know, it is what it is. But still. And we got encircled again. Oh, God. I hate the 80s. They need... We need buffs. We need... Diana needs buffs. The robots need buffs. Not Diana. The robots need buffs. We have one. Come on, stop. Stop lagging so hard. No one cares about economic resurgence. What the hell are you doing? Give me those divisions out now. Just spread them out. Spread them through each group. Why? 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 Why can't they just pop out divisions infinitely? An infinite amount of divisions all the time. Can we please hurry this up? Even the Sorrows are doing well against these guys, and we can't. That's what I'll tell you how weak robots are. Are these core territories too? Uh, cut our losses. Of course we get encircled here, of course, why not? You're going to break out yourself because these guys decided to leave you. This is so stupid. So incredibly stupid. Wait, what? 
Yeah, no, I'm not gonna bother. I, you know, I, I know I need more divisions, but I'm not gonna bother with it. I don't want their divisions. Oh, wow, Molten Grave. Well, the guidance of the faithful Argo scouts and robots serving the tribe that have been sent deep into the chasms of the facility out to the west, which Argos had stated a connection to Greenway's past, the whole facility. Once a grand monument to pre war engineering is now a twisting, burned out crater. Through derelict terminals, data recovering the account of Argos, the scouts were able to paint a picture as to what happened here. The facility of Tibbet's prison was, in its heyday, a cold sterile, steel walled automated prison facility run by technology so ancient it dates back to the years before the Great War, you know, 200 years ago. It was a facility designed to hold and protect some of the world's most dangerous criminals, military and otherwise, before the war. Tibbet's prism has its roots dating back to at least the 19th century. In the 1940s, Tibbet served an important role in the development of vault program. Before the federal vault program was privatized and when it was known as a federal safe house project. Tibbets was used to test whether the man could survive in isolation for extended periods of time, something that was necessary to learn to understand the feasibility of whether the Safe House Project could work, originally. And the Federal Safe House Project of all the vaults would have been orchestrated and managed by a singular overseer, artificial intelligence known as Ulysses. Uh, as an AI developed by a contractor company known as Greenway Hydroponics, this would change after the Safe House Project was privatized. The newly made vault tech feeling there wasn't much need for a managerial government funded AI to oversee the private vault program. Instead, the board felt that select individuals could serve the role of overseer instead. A split leadership system more likely to survive the apocalypse than a single headed administration. With the Ulysses Project dead in the water, Greenway Hydroponics was forced to cut a deal and sell what research they had to the government. One half of the Ulysses research would be sent to down Mexico City to aid in the development of another managerial AI, while the other half was renamed the Odysseus, and sent to Tibbet's prison to serve as an AI to help assist in the newly spreading new plague, infecting citizens taken to and quarantined inside of the prison walls. Over time and under the management of Odysseus, the prison became more advanced, utilizing robotic wardens and utility robots to maintain the structure. Especially as the war with China in the 2070s and the annexation of Canada began to drain personnel from the U.S., all that changed was the end of the world. Oh my god. What is this, TNO? A hope in the ash. And the new world brought on by the Great War Odysseus for some time was able to continue as it had during the decades prior. Fading away as it sent out robots to hunt down those infected by the plague. With the death of every living member of the prison eventually, as a result of the chain of command took on every responsibility and title within the prison. It became warden, judge, and jury. Having to take on this many responsibilities would lead to an AI devel developing a bit of a split personality within its own computer core. Thankfully, nothing as catastrophic as well would later develop into its twin in Mexico City. It only, if only because managing a prison was less stressful than managing the entirety of pre-war Mexico. It wasn't until the late 2240s that serious problems began to occur for Tibbet's prison and Odysseus. Recovered terminal logs would point to several hundred occurrences of limit 115 being reported through the entirety of the greater Colorado, Arizona area. It's worth noting that while, while the twin mothers and other local, ne local nearby settler groups had some issues with the plague in this time period, it's nothing like what is being reported in these logs. It seems that Odysseus was either tricked or had it some sort of malfunction in regards to determining the severity of new plague outbreaks across the wasteland. As a last-ditch attempt to try to remedy the situation, it attempted to house as many infected citizens as it could before forcefully melting down its own computer core, and thus the entire facility with it. That's why Tibbetts is now how it is. Uh, burned out, created on Earth. Through the weeks of study we have, however, found an automated backup that Odysseus recorded of its computer core in the 2020s. If we were to find a suitable unit to upload this into, we could potentially try to bring a limited version of it back online once again. Brother? Jesus Christ, that's like TNO. Um, oh, this one. The City of Tomorrow. Who knows what we might find in Boulder? There was a legend even in Diana's time today. A gift beyond value. God, I hate this nation so much. I hate it so much. Can we just deploy more soldiers? We need soldiers now. And this is stupid. It's incredibly stupid. All is back and forth. All is back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Just murder them all. Jesus Christ. Please, can you not kill them off? Ridiculous. Dr. Stomach Bag. Apologize for getting ragey with this, but this is stupid. Incredibly stupid. Why don't they puff robots at all? I mean, come on. They take way too long to produce, and they're just not that good. Even with our full doctrine. Come on. Excuse me. Come on. You managed to break three so far, but we'll see what happens. Because you got a circle here, too. Of course, I don't care at this point. Look at it. How do they keep popping out 20, 20 more divisions? Easily 20 more divisions. That's so stupid.
Look at that. I mean, come on. Are you just gonna not kill these guys off? Come on. Recharged ammo. At this point, either either win or die. I mean, I'm sick of this. I'm so sick of this. <laughs> you know it's bad when even the sorrows are winning against them and we cannot. Like, why? Why? Class 8, some of our team, whatever. Look at that. 1v1, you can't win. And I thought infantry was supposed to be weak. That tells you how weak robots are. Uh, anything else there? No. City of Tomorrow, though. As Diana's robotic approach, or scouts approach the city of Boulder, they got a, or the spot of shadow. That engulfed the city, a large futuristic sphere standing above a cliff, towering above it like a colossus. When Diana learned of this, she knew exactly what it was. It was Boulder Dome. Boulder Dome before the Great War was a long place. It was long a place where advanced scientific research took place. Supported by money from Denver's industry and active military presence, Boulder scientists made advances in medicine. Biomed Joe was invented here, alternate energy sources, robotics, and even developed a power armor prototype. Construction of the research dome was not considered until the nearby Rocky Mountain Arsenal leaked toxic waste, creating a poisonous cloud that swept through Denver, killing many. In reaction, the military funded a program to create a self-sustaining research dome, making resistance to the nuclear attack and having the primary research inside be dedicated to the new plague. The seed of the future was to be a prototype for settlement on the moon and other planets. Then the world of China began. The border became a hotbed of political activity, as most of the scientists were naturally suspicious of the military. When reports of the plague outbreaks in Denver were surfaced, many in Boulder feared that an exodus from that city would come here and infect them. They fled north, the scientists staying in a cold ste sleep stasis deeper than the dome. When the war started, the bombs were flying. Cheyenne Mountain, a military facility home of no rad, was a primary target. A huge sections of the mountains were great, uh, became a great radioactive smoking crater. A couple of the attacks on Denver and the Rocky Mountain Arsenal, Boulder was involuntarily included in a triangle of hellish death. Yet over 170 years later, the dome still stands. It seems that in the interim, the seals keeping their hazardous materials within the dome is broken. With a several mile radius around the city, there being no living things besides those creatures res resistant to radiation such as ghouls. What happened here to cause the city to tomorrow to start to fall apart? This place used to be so promising. Tomorrow lost. It didn't take long to discover what had happened. It was all Presper's fault. Victor Presper, before the Great War, was a revolutionary for his time. A U.S. scientist who in the 24s worked on designs that would eventually lead to Zach's artificial intelligence. One day, and was working as a scientist, she was at Tom's, had a chance to work with Tana with Presper as a colleague. He was infuriating to Diana. He showed up and knew everything. Everything new, uh, every new discovery she chanced on, he knew it better. Every novel idea she thought she had a childish thought to him. Turns out one of the scientists who had frozen themselves in time in Boulder was none other than Presper, the scientist. In his usual frustrating ways, used the on-site code, a conditional protocol to win the influence of other frozen scientists at the base, treasure finders who tried to break into the dome and find and anyone else he could in order to build himself an army. There were no more frozen scientists by the time Diana arrived. Presper was either having indoctrinated, killed, or used them as experiments, or taking everyone local and leaving the go for God knows where. Through robotic scouts, eyes Diana could recognize familiar faces with bullet holes lodging in the front of the skulls. So it would be nerve-wracking if Diana still had a nervous system. The only movement Diana's scouts could see within the city tomorrow was stumbling, track led, big mountain company trauma students, bodies were still forced into locomotion through the suits on board motors. So there was at least one solo within Boulder Dome to meet, the idle whirl of a familiar machine close by. If only I had arrived a few years earlier. In the deepest chamber of the city, Diana finally found another soul. That was a machine, like the twin, uh, uh, like twin Zacks that aided Diana's mind. This one stood alone, a low world emanating from its cooling unit, never ran out of power, never had a critical failure, and simply ran out of memory. It seemed that at some point in the post-war period, it had gotten itself into some sort of loop in regards to something called the Great Calculation. Attempting to solve this mystery caused it to lose all of its memory rapidly. It lost itself in a self-actualized quandary until all that lingered in its mind were idle, out-of-memory requests, pulling at cords that weren't there. A slow blindness that gradually completely blanketed it. If the Boulder scientists had been around help, they could have probably kept this from happening, but now the Boulder's act has gone silent. There was nothing left that could be done. The great calculation that engulfed his mind is so full that it took up the entirety of its memory. To remove it would have clearly involved clearing the Zack's mind fully. Diana reasonably had two choices to do. She could attempt to reboot the Zax, purge his memory, bring it back to the nursery to act as a third computational agent alongside twin Zax she's already had. Or she could wipe the Zax's memory and place Odysseus back up within it. Allowing the memory of her old brother to take over the machine, it would be nice to have the old family talk to talk to. My brother's gone and needs the Zax more than him. Bring the boulder Zax to the nursery where it could be used to further improve Diana's computational abilities or I miss my brother, I don't want to be alone anymore. It's all the soul of Odysseus and the boulder Zax bringing Odysseus back to the waking world. Uh, trifecta. Uh, 
Hmm. I don't know. I guess one last time. I forget which one I choose last time, so. I need the Zax mo more than him. Let's go to that one. Ultimately, it's decided that both Odysseus as well as Boulder Zax time had passed. There's no need to try to bring it back online. It was better to look forward than to have your eyes glued to the past. Nostalgia can hold stronger than any edge or any cage. We removed the Zax unit from Boulder for some time, then then would bring it back to the nursery where automated installation robots would connect it with Diana's current array. The increase in Diana's performance will be immense. Even though we're already at what? 84%. 104%. Not bad, but it could be better. I just don't understand how we just can't win here. I mean, it looks like we're winning now, but like, is it just because they don't, they threw all their divisions towards the Sorrows? Like, I hate the 80s. I hate robots. Like, because they're so weak. They're just god awfully weak. They can always get pierced. At this point, I'm just not having any more. This is stupid. And the 80s can just produce divisions like literally there's no tomorrow. Doom of the Wasteland, huh? Oh, I bet. 65 divisions still. 65, how? Huh? With all the divisions we've eliminated, they can still just mass produce divisions like there's no tomorrow. It's so incredibly stupid. Eighty-four thousand have died. And it's still not enough. It's just still not enough. It's never enough. Uh, let's see. So we're not doing any other focus for now. Um, the winning condition. Well, let's go and just do all this a whole bunch. Just because we need to do like 50 times, which I think is stupid, but that's okay. Now we're at political power. Um, yeah, this one. Right in Constitution. The final level of self-actualization, the full realization of one's potential. None of our citizens shall be held back. We will restore the light of democracy and human rights to the wasteland. With no need to defend themselves or fend for their lives, all shall be able to become their best self. And never shall the constitution protecting them be trampled. Be at peace. Th th are you kidding me? 13 times only. Come on. Look at this. never enough. It's just never enough. How many times do we need to kill your divisions off and win? And not win. Moonlight schools, might as well. It'd be one thing if we were, we're out of energy cells, but we're not. We're getting close, but we're not. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not even sorry about this. The 80s need a nerf. They need to get a nerf. Them having infinite, like, you know, what's it, victory points? Not cool. It's just, why? Yeah, they should be strong. But not so strong that they can always pump out more and more and more divisions with extreme ease. The AI is literally cheating here, pumping out all these divisions. And it's not even the Old World Blue's fault, a dev's fault for that part. Because the AI and Holy Forge just, oh, we don't have any divisions. We're just going to poop them out anyways. Incredibly stupid. And there goes the Sorrows too. Goodbye, Sorrows. And I don't think I'm going to get the NCR. They don't seem like a lot of fun to take out. As well as Texas. Not super interested in that. Look at this. How do we get in circle down here almost? I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know what the devs are thinking about this. They're not. They're not thinking about how strong or overpowered the 80s are. Look, I mean, this is stupid. How deep do we have to go to do this? Please just take it. I want to end this war so badly. This was not fun. I'm sorry that I'm raging so hard at this, but this is not fun. Do the devs not even play their own game? I assume they do. Do they not struggle with the 80s at all? Because I hate this. I hate this so much. Well, everyone, now we can go to war with the uh, Sky Reavers and hopefully do okay with robots. You know, they're doing relatively okay compared to what we had to fight with the 80s. Maybe the 80s are just overpowered.
Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. But I do somewhat apologize for being really raging this episode. I'm just really pissed off that the 80s just are just so strong. They're just so strong. And they should be strong. But they shouldn't be, like, ridiculously so strong. They can just poop out divisions like crazy. <sighs> and I do apologize for being not super positive in this episode. But look at that. It's so easy to take them out. Why are the 80s so god-awful? Questions left unanswered. Again and again and again. But then again, that's why the devs don't like me. But it is what it is. Um, and, yeah, we're going to go with cons. I'm going to end this episode because we're going to have only one more episode in this campaign because I cannot stand this anymore. I'll be honest, this campaign has been very... Just not great. It's, it's a lot not great compared to what I... What we've played before. At least what I played before, so... Um, at this point in this campaign. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So... Um, but I do want to finish it out, no matter what happens, I do and want to finish it out. Why is it so easy? Why? What, what, is it just because the 80s are overpowered? Probably. So, I mean... Why? Why is it so easy to kill them all? I mean, yeah, it does help that I threw on, like, 1600 more planes. Yeah, I get it. Hello. Then again, it doesn't look like the planes are really doing much for us right now, but... Okay. Oh no, let's wait. Let's 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 do this. Let's do that. An actual test run of just just straight blitzing into them. Uh, bomb gliders, you can get that one done. And salvage gun trucks. And we're gonna be making robots like crazy. I, I convert all the divisions of robots too. So let's do that. You're doing any damage now? Now you're doing damage, which is nice. But earlier, like we saw, air superiority, it still wasn't enough. It's like a massacre. There's never enough massacres. Never enough. But uh, we'll take all states. Thank you very much. Do apologize once again for raging super hard in this episode. But at the same time, I feel completely justified because the A's just, they don't ever get touched. They don't get nerfed. This overpowered is all heck. And there's no way I'm going to fight the NCR or the, or Texas. Because that is, eh, that's a bit much. But hey, it's supposed to look like he's doing well. But if you somehow enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And see you in the next episode where we're going to end this campaign because I'm, I'm at my wit's end. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.